hey guys welcome back again i am mj in this video i will show you how to set up 5 gigahertz wi-fi frequency in your router and laptop the first thing is we need to check whether your laptop or router support the 5 gigahertz speed so in your router uh, you can check it in the back side okay so back side it will uh, mention everything in detail like uh, the IP address of the router and default username and password and here you can see the Wi-Fi name SSD 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz so that's mean my Wi-Fi support dual band like 4.2.4 and 5 and here are the default IP address and password and the default username let's see how it's work I will show you so now uh, let's check let's check uh, whether my laptop uh, support 5 gigahertz or not so go to start and type cmd and then click on uh, run as administrator open the cmd here type net sh space wlan space show space drivers okay type and hit enter so now here search for radio types supported okay so here you can see radio type supporter so here is mentioned like 802.n uh, 802.11n 802.11g 802.11b and 802.11ac that's mean if you get the 11ac that's mean your laptop will support the 5 gigahertz or if you get the 802.11a a or ac if you get this option that means your laptop will support 5 gigahertz or dual band so my laptop support both dual band so now, now let's see how to set up the 5 gigahertz so uh, open any browser and in the address bar just type the default ip address i have just shown on the router back side so in my case my default ip address is 192.168.0.1 this is my default ip address to login page of router and here type the username it's mentioned in the uh, back side of the your router these are default if you change the your username or password then type your change username and password otherwise type the default username and password and then you log in uh, this is a user user interface might be in your case the router user interface uh, will be different but here use the little common sense okay you need to find the wi-fi or wireless uh, or wireless setup so whatever you get the wi-fi option here like wireless wi-fi setup just click on that okay and then you get the option like a setting or setup or basic setting so select this setting option so here uh, 2.4 gigahertz is already set up in my uh, laptop as you can see here might be in your case if this not set up so contact the service provider they will set up it the Wi-Fi or you can also follow this uh, easy step to set up the your Wi-Fi of 2.4 gigahertz but the main thing is now how to set up the 5 gigahertz as you can see here is showing 5 gigahertz so find the 5 gigahertz where it's showing then click on uh, setup or configure or whatever option you have in 5 gigahertz of speed click on that and then or if you don't find the any option there then uh, click on add a new network you can do do it okay if go to the 5 gigahertz and then click on add new network if you don't find any setup option okay so here uh, give the ssd that means this is the your wi-fi name so you can give any name as per your convenient okay i will give this one so this is the your wi-fi name ssd means your wi-fi name and hide ssd i don't want it to enable so i leave it default and enable shaping i don't want a broadcast broadcast wireless network it should be enable and client i don't want to enable it and additional channel i don't want it okay now the security setting this is the main important in the security setting uh, choose the wpa2 psk okay this one select it and after this uh, type the password okay so type the your password and try to give the strong password and which is remember to you so remember the password okay the strong and remember password so you should remember the password okay and rest of this uh, keep default like this AC okay and then 31600 
that's it now click apply so i said uh, might be your user fed uh, user interface a little different so use the little bit uh, common sense here to identify the feature and after you apply the updates it will take some time to uh, set up the new connection so you will get this type of uh, notification so after some time it will auto connect if auto connect is uh, not done then you can connect your wi-fi once again so go, go to your wi-fi and search for your new wi-fi connection okay 5 gigahertz and simply type the select the your wi-fi and type the password and then then connect it okay just give me a second it's connecting okay type your password here and connect it that's it and after the setup complete here one more thing you have to uh, do carefully uh, in your uh, wireless mode select the 802.11.ac or you can select ac mix but ac is must and should ac or a this is a must and should you need to select and check on select manually channel and uh, uh, enable additional channel i don't want to enable it so i will just uh, leave it default okay yeah so do this setting and here uh, it will show your wi-fi uh, name that means ssid so if you want you can change it or you can leave it because we have recently given the a name and rest of think you can uh, leave the default or if you want to allow any uh, client you can add the number of client uh, enable shipping i don't want broadcast uh, network yeah enable it and client isolation i don't want and the security we have already selected security so if you want you can change it or let it to keep it your recently change id and uh, your password okay and that's it if you got connection loss then once again go to wi-fi if you need all these settings, click apply and then reconnect your Wi-Fi, okay? After you apply this setting, once again you need to reconnect your Wi-Fi. Search your 5 gigahertz and reconnect, type your password and that's it, now it's connected. And you can use it, your 5 gigahertz speed in your laptop as well as your mobile, yeah? It's, I know it's a little typical, but uh, what to do, this is a method to do uh, set up the 5 gigahertz. So if you if you got any confusion you can ask me in comments okay so do it very carefully okay do it very carefully because when you are applying this setting uh, might be by mistake you did something wrong and you will lose your wi-fi connection so do it very carefully if you don't know how to do this then call the professional they will come and uh, do it for you okay so thank you for watching guys catch the next video please like share and subscribe thank you very much